So this video, like the last one about the boxes, I want to show you another concept that I have for the boxes. And just so you know, the reason why I don't want to use a style box anymore, besides the fact, well, the main reason why is cost. This outer protector, which I don't have to include, but I like including, as I showed before, it's about a buck, buck fifty. The box itself, material alone is almost two dollars just for the paper, for the, the printed paper, and then at least five minutes per box, cutting, trimming, making them fit, and then when it's done, it's, I mean, I am not too involved not to admit that it doesn't look as great as I want it to because it is handmade. So maybe that's a good bit of charm in there, but then you got the people that just complain that it's it looks handmade. Well, because it is. So my, I've been trying to, how can I eliminate the handmade portion of it and get the cost down? The other one I showed in the previous video actually brought the cost up. It was going to be like 7 or 8 or about $10 a box, which is high. But I thought, okay, it's kind of cool looking box and luxury wise, but then... I was pointed out to me that the box would not fit with anything else on the shelf. So, okay, we won't do that one. So then I thought, okay, there's other ways. Now, you need to completely ignore the masking tape and the ugly folds. This is me slapping together an idea. These, this is a sleeve, okay? So immediately, by purchasing a sleeve, I am eliminating a bunch of stuff. I'm eliminating this plastic protector. Don't need it no more. I'm eliminating how to do all this folding because the sleeve is basically I just fold once and glue it. Not tape like this, just glue. I just taped it just to hold it together. And I took two Arcadian misspelled covers and put them together just for gets and shiggles, just so I had something to work with. And I probably could actually even go down a notch on the paper thickness because now it's not self standing up. Now, the reason why I like this concept is the box that I will show you more of the box in a second. The box itself brings. This with the printing and the assembly brings it down to about $2 to maybe $2.50 complete for the box. It's the same size. It's a little thicker, which is nice because I wanted it a little thicker for what I need to do with them. So we got a sleeve here. Sleeve slides off. Then you just have a generic black box underneath. This box I can use for any of the 8 bits I support. It's solid. You open it up, and inside I can fit everything in here. Manuals, posters, floppy disks, data packs, cartridge. And I made a little, this is a rough, ugly version, but I made a little little foam holder there just to hold the cartridge in place. Then if I had to include a data pack, it slides right in there. If I had to throw a tape, the uh, 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 floppy, right above. Everything goes above it. Locks it all up. Put it in here together. Box is now solid. And then a sleeve. I even thought, well, I could probably. This doesn't slide on too easy because I made this. This is just handmade sleeve. So the comments of, oh, it's ugly and stuff like that, just let them go because I, it is ugly. This is the ugliest friggin' thing I've seen. But I'm playing with the concept. I'm not trying to say, oh, look how impressive. So we got to sleep, and I have seen a number of games that were made like this back in the 80s and 90s where you used a generic inserted box, which had no printing on the box, which cut your cost down a lot, and you had a sleeve. So these I bought, I could get in bulk for all the games, and then I just have a sleeve made for the individual games. Or if I didn't even want to go sleeve-wise, I could go, if I wanted to use this box, which I don't think I do, as the outside. I won't cover it. But if I wanted to use this as the outside, I could always just go with printing paper that goes on the outside. Like, let me give you an example. Well, I was going to show you something, but I don't have, but let me just take a blank piece of paper. Just, just say for gets and shakles, this is printed up. I could have this printed up, and it, I just take and I just would, I could just glue it to the outside of the box. And then, voila, you got a box. I don't kind of, kind of not like that. I do like the idea of the sleeve because again, I am eliminating a lot of the assembly cost. Now, the other thing I was going to do too is once this is done, I would shrink wrap the whole box because I kind of like the idea of shrink wrapping. 
So we grab the whole box. See, this eliminates this plastic protector. These are nice, but these are not something you can get all the time. The guy I purchased them from, he went away for like a month and didn't have any available. And I had to basically hold off on shipping things back in beginning of December for two weeks, waiting for them to show up. So it's kind of, you don't want to rely on other people. I mean, seriously, I mean... I ordered 200 PCBs from China, and they had Chinese New Year. Mm, good for them. My stuff took me a month and a half to get here instead of a week, which I paid extra for. Yay, Chinese New Year. I love dragons. But um, that's a thought. Again, it's very ugly. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen, this sleeve-wise. Not the, not, the, not the graphics. I like the graphics, but the sleeve, as it looks right now. This has not been designed. This has just been, like I said... I glued two covers together with some tape just to get a stiff thing. But I like that. You now have the box and everything. And I really do. I mean, and there's actually, I mean, if I wanted to take this just a slight step further, I could always just put a little envelope on the front to slide these in. Now the manual's going to the front of the cover if I want to. But there's no wrong with having been loosened in there. They almost act like padding material. And this box is very sturdy. It's not like it's going to crush or fall apart, and here you go. They're readily available. There, it's a standard size. And again, <laughs> I made this. I just, just don't, don't level. You can't put it in. I just made this thing. I didn't make it too well. See, it kind of catches on stuff. I was just testing stuff. But that's my idea. That's prototype number two, and I actually kind of do like prototype number two more than prototype number one. From a cost perspective, from the fact that it looks like a box that video that games would come in, and the reusability, reusability, I can use this on basically everything. This design. So there you go.